Hello, my horror peeps. It is Doogie, and it is almost that time. And what time, you ask? It's almost October. That means it's horror season. And we are going to be in full horror mode in a very short time. I would say within a week or so. The horror den's going to look a little bit different. And you are going to love it. So, with that being said, this is Doogie's Horror Den. I am Doogie. And I review horror movies and horror TV shows. So hit the subscribe button. And hit the like button. And tell me what are some of your favorite October movies. Okay, I have a rating system. M, murder, bad movie, MD, murder, death, okay movie, you may or may not watch it again. And then there's MDK, a murder, death, kill, which is the pinnacle of horror, like the thing, like Halloween, Friday the 13th, Nightmare on Elm Street, you know, movies like that, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Um, more up-to-date movies like Scream, Saw, you know, everything like that that you love and will watch again and tell other people to watch. That is what we strive for. We don't always get it, but that is what we strive for. So right now, let's get into this episode's reviews. And I have two of them for you this time. The first one... There's a movie that came out in 2011, directed by the horror, I'm going to say pretty much a horror master at this point, um, with all the movies that he's done. The director is Ty West, and this movie is called The Innkeepers. Okay, and it stars Sarah Braxton, Pat Healy, and Kelly McGillis. And what it's about is an old hotel that these two people work at. And they like to investigate in their hotel because they think it's haunted, you know, ghosts and hauntings and all that good stuff. And when eventually they find out that one is real, the shit hits the fan. Or it's supposed to hit the fan. See, I have watched a lot of Ty West movies. And with this one, I'm sure there will be some people that like it, some people that don't. I am one of the ones who don't. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It was kind of boring for me. Um, it took a lot of time to get going. There really wasn't a lot of suspense to it for me. Uh, the ending, I kind of thought what was going to happen happened. And that kind of like got me upset a little bit. So that boggled it down for me. And for me... For me, in Ty West's career as a director, I think this is his worst one out of all of them, which I haven't seen Pearl and Maxine yet. But The Innkeepers for me is an M. An M. M. So I do not recommend this movie, but like I said, that's just me telling you what I thought. Cheers for the innkeepers no matter what because it's a movie. It's a horror movie. Yes. Hell yeah. So, moving on from the innkeepers is a movie called Cryptid. Okay, if you're wondering what Cryptid's about. Well, before we get into what it's about, let us just talk about, it came out in 2022, it's directed by Brad Rigo, and it stars um, Ellen Adair and Nick Baruti, and of course it's about a series of animal attacks that people label it as a bear attack, but it is nothing short of a monster, a cryptid. And the main character, uh, the guy who played it, his name is Nick Baruti, he was awesome in this movie. I he I mean, he made me laugh. 
even though you know it wasn't really a, a comedy movie, but he, the way he acted in this movie was great. I loved it. It was definitely a different type of movie. Um, and right now it is on Tubi, Crackle, you know, Redbox. That's still a thing. <laughs> um, for me, uh, there were some good uh, attacks. It was kind of creepy, kind of scary, not over the top, which I was kind of hoping for. Um, especially, you know, towards the end. The end kind of let me down just a little bit. So I'm going to give it an MD. I murdered death for Cryptid. You definitely should check it out if you like monster movies. You know, monster movies that have their practical effects or always have a, a soft spot in my bleeding heart. Uh, but yeah, check out Cryptid. You might enjoy it. You might not. But hey, it's an MD for me. And I don't know if I said with the last review, The Innkeepers is on Peacock, Tubi, Plex, Freebie, all those. Um, but skip that one. If you wanted to watch one of these two movies, I would check out Cryptid. Okay, so. And if you're wondering what in the exact am I listening to in the background, it is the almighty Blair Witch Project that came out. Ooh, 99 now at this point? Ooh, 25 years ago. Uh, 25, 25 years ago already. 25 years of the Blair Witch Project. Which kind of really started the whole found footage movement. Um, it was really, really good. I remember seeing it in the theater. It was great. Now that I've totally left these two in the dust and started to talk about the Blair Witch Project. <laughs> so, my horror peeps. We have an M with the Innkeepers and an MD with Cryptic. Again, one more time, thank you for watching. I appreciate every one of you who take time to check out this little horror movie review channel and uh, check out what I got going on. Like I said, pretty soon there are going to be some changes going on around here. And uh, it's about time. You know, every once in a while you have to change it up, right? So until then, my horror peeps, watch a horror movie. What's it going to do?